Hey guys, it's Layla from Ignite, and in today's video, I'm going to take you through a comprehension response for text and human experiences. But before I get into that, please do like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. And if you're looking for resources to enhance your HSC studies, check out our website at Ignite HSC. But for now, let's get into today's video. So what you can expect to see in today's clip is an exemplar response to a question based on the common module, which is text and human experiences. Now the poem on which this question is based has been analyzed in a fun little clip that we'll paste the link for below. And that's in our clip where I took three minutes to analyze this poem. So I've tried to stipulate and indeed recreate an exam circumstance taking out a text, analyzing the text, and then answering a comprehension question. I will quickly read through the poem with you and just kind of flag a couple of techniques that I thought were most relevant, and then we'll go through and we'll answer the question and I'll show you my exemplar right at the end. So stay tuned if you're someone who finds comprehension tricky, and indeed it is probably the hardest part of your HSC studies, the content in here will undoubtedly be really, really useful to you. So let's have a look at our poem. Before looking at the poem, we're going to take a look at the question. Now, when you're in your exams, the reason I have put the question in here first is because you really ought to use a question to guide how you're reading a poem, because questions will often introduce a key theme in the text, and through considering that key theme, we know what kinds of quotes we need to look for. Remember, your approach and comprehension isn't so much to work out what the hidden meaning is behind a text. It's more about you considering what quotes are going to be efficient to answering my given question. So once you've got a couple of quotes in this case that link to an individual's human experiences, you're good to go. Okay, so let's have a read. How does the poem explore an individual's human experience? Now, in the question and in the exam, you really must identify the key terms that are directing us in terms of what we need to take away from the text. So here we've got the key term how, and whenever we see a word how, we know that we need to discuss language forms and features. But our super key term in the question, there's always one main focus, is individual's human experience. Now, when we are looking at key terms, this is important, you don't want to just restate the key term in the question in your topic sentence. You want to offer something to that key term, and we often discuss this in our other videos as well. And a key bit of advice that we give you guys to help unpack the question is through the application of micro questions. So words such as what, how, why, to what extent, or what is the relevance, through taking those words and applying them to keywords in the question, it gives you scope to add some sort of meaning to the question. So in this case, applying the phrase what to individual experiences forces you to answer, well, what is the individual experience that's represented in the poem? And in answering that in your topic sentence and throughout your response, you're showing the marker that you've actually understood what the question is asking you. You're not just saying the poem explores individual experience. You're saying, well, the poem explores the individual experience of and then you tell me what that individual experience is. This will make a lot more sense when we look at the exemplar, but I'm hoping you're picking up the importance of unpacking the key terms in the question and relating them to your evidence that you're drawing upon and fleshing them out throughout your response. Okay, and we also have here the point that it's three marks, which means that we must be using two quotes in our response. Okay, let's have a quick read through the poem. Okay, so our poem reads, virtual worlds, I exist because I think I do, not independently of you. I am what you see, I am what I feel. This much is true in the world that is real. But in cyberspace, I can dictate who to be, I'm in control of virtual me. So if we flick back to our question, thinking we're in an exam, right? Okay, we want individuals human experience. So I need two quotes here that are showing me an individual's human experience. Now, you could pretty much use any of the quotes there in that response because the first person narration signifies an individual's experience of wanting to construe their identity. And that's what I would frame, I think, in terms of the subject matter here, the individual experience of wanting to define themselves. And that is signaled through the first person persona in the opening line and the repetition of the I, and perhaps the tension between the individual's perception of themselves and how they relate to others in their presence. I am what you see, I am what I feel. The anaphora there, the direct second person appeal, I am what you see, but I really am what I feel, right? 
This all relates to the individual trying to construe their own personal sense of identity. And I think that that's what the individual experience is in this poem, if we are going to frame one. I think a couple of other points you could note, I'm not sure that I put them in my exemplar, but the lexicon that's used here, it's kind of jumbled or it's written in sort of cyber tech language. And you could comment on that in the sense that the way that the poem actually uses syntax and language itself is reflective on the online world or the virtual world that it indeed frames within its title. I think other salient features of the poem's construction are the enjambment or is the enjambment, the run on lines. It picks up the pace of the poem and indeed gives it the rant sort of tone, this hate that the persona is projecting onto their external world. So a couple of quick notes there. So if you're in the exam, you're thinking, okay, what quotes are relevant? Let me quickly get them out. How am I them to the question what techniques are in there and then you go through and you frame your response so let's take a look at an exemplar so what I've done is I have highlighted in yellow my links back to the question to show you the importance of frequently linking back and I've highlighted in blue my quotes and I've emboldened my techniques so you can see all of the key elements that are conducive to answer a question answering a question up I put together here. So let's have a read. The poem explores an individual's search for identity, an experience that is inherent to our humanity. So you see how we haven't stopped at the poem explores individual's human experience. We've said, well, the individual experience is one search for identity. An individual's control of their identity is established the first person persona of the opening line, I exist because I think I do, wherein the individual seeks to control how their identity is perceived. The desperate attempt to override the nature of collective perception and to control one's individual identity is reinforced in the high modality of the final lines, I'm in control of virtual me. So you can see every bit of analysis there is linking back to the key premise of the question. The topic sentence clearly frames an idea that is indeed supported by my evidence. A common mistake that I see in student responses is that they frame an approach in their topic sentence, but they haven't actually thought about their evidence before they framed the topic sentence, which is then a recipe for presenting evidence later on that actually contradicts what you've said in your topic sentence. So the takeaway of what I've just said is that make sure you think before you start writing and you ensure that the evidence you go on to discuss actually justifies what you have presented in your topic sentence. That's really important. Remember to pick evidence that supports your answering of the question, so supports what you frame in your topic sentence, and indeed that you've picked evidence that actually has a technique in there that you can identify. So you're being very strategic, right? You're kind of going through and taking out the quotes that help you answer the question, but also quotes that you can indeed analyse in terms of taking out the techniques. I think I'll leave it there, guys. That concludes my content for the video. If you have any questions, please do place them below and I'll get back to you. I'm hoping what you've taken away is how to unpack questions in comprehension papers, how to use the words in the question to guide your topic sentences and how to make sure you keep a keen eye to the marking allocation, how to be really purposive in the way that you read the text in the sense that you're driven by the purpose of answering the question and you're looking for the quotes that are most relevant to the question in that way, that your writing is concise, you're unpacking the question in your topic sentence and you're moving very fluidly through quote technique effect and link to the question and the links are made very obvious to you by the amount of yellow highlighting that's in that response. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're loving our content, and I hope that you are, please do like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications so that you know when we've got fresh content coming your way. And if you're wanting resources to really enhance your studies throughout your HSC, if you want exemplar essays, close analysis, extensive close analysis on your text notes on context form and resources that have been revised by state ranked students and HSC markers, check out our website at Ignite HSC. I guarantee you will not regret it. But for now, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do like the content, subscribe to our channel and we'll have more videos coming your way. That's right guys, thanks for watching and please make sure you check out our online resource database. We've had a team of state rank achievers and heads of English put these together for you, covering everything from essay structures and examples all the way through to craft of writing and comprehension skills. So check them out at ignitehse.com.au and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.